Hi friends, welcome to the channel of Learning by Doing. Today we are going to learn some more topics in Java language. And I hope in my yesterday classes I said to you about uh, how to install the JDK and how to install the Eclipse in your PC or in the laptops. Uh, so now I'm going to open my Eclipse. This was the workbench we are, where we are going to work on uh, our Java programming language. For this, um, we need to click on the file for creating a new uh, project of Java in the Eclipse our workbench. We need to create uh, a project for that. So, for that, just click on the file which is on the top menu, and then here you can see a drop down. In that, click on the new button, new, and then we are going to select the Java project here. Just give the name for your project. Um, I'm giving the name as first project and click the finish. Then here the first project of uh, the Java was created in the Eclipse workspace workbench and after that when we click on this here we are going to see the source and some of the GRE files which are inbuilt to this uh, software and uh, what is the source code what is the executable code and what is the compiled code we seen in our last videos and for writing any type of code a developer written code is nothing but uh, a source code in any language whenever a developer written a code that is nothing but the source code if you want to create your own source code we need to um, uh, write a java program then for that we need to create a class for that purpose for creating a class we just have to click on the source uh, and then click on the new we are going to create a class for the java fa java project so i'm going to click as class here for this name the class here for java is having some of the constraints and one more thing i want to say here is Java is not a case sensitive language. In my previous videos of HTML, I said to you that HTML is a case sensitive, is not a case sensitive language. Sorry, that is whatever the for I mean in the small cases or in the capital letters, whatever the uh, type you wrote, it will execute. But Java is a case sensitive language, that means you need to write some of the things um if they are capital means we need to mention those in the capital letters and the small letters is we need to mention in those um all those in the small letters these are all the main things that java mainly focuses of but uh, here we are having some more things for giving a class name that is uh, for java maintaining some of the constraints and conditions to wrote a class name that is class name should be a noun and class name should start with a capital letter and if a class name is having uh, it should be a noun means it has to be a single word and it it should be starts with a capital letter and it should not start with any numeric numbers like one two three and it should not start with any special characters like uh, dollar underscore or anything um, so I hope you are all come to know that um, what is uh, I mean um, how the class name has to be written so I'm going to write my class name as first first is my class name and in that I'm writing my F letter to be first one of the class name right so it is has to be capital so I'm writing it as capital letter I'm going to click the finish here then my template of the java uh, first uh, project or i mean the program was created public class first this was the template of the java if you do not have the eclipse in your system you can write the java code in the notepad also and you can run that using the uh, command prompt i hope you understood if you doesn't have the uh, eclipse in your system no need of worrying about how to work on the java language you can uh, write in the notepad and you can work on in the 
what do you say um or uh, what do you say in the command prompt itself so no need to worries of anything um and now i'm going to write my first java program a uh, first java fundamental program just to display a string a string that is that's it and now i'm going to write um, public static void main okay that was the first and foremost thing that we need to learn fr through the java language public static void main in this i'm going to put a string args okay and for this uh, i'm going to put the uh, open and closed curly braces here i'm going to write the system dot out dot print stream dot print ln print ln or print whatever you want you can select from here itself i'm selecting from here print and i'm writing one thing here as um, hello uh, friends or else learning by doing we are learning just by doing your program by doing right i wrote one string here and i'm just uh, every statement that needs to be closed has to be end with the semicolon in the in the java language and uh, before we run this uh, program i want to say some of the things which you need to know whenever we are going to learn the java language i'm talking about the java in the very first video of my java language java is the collection of packages and the apis i said to you all about this and now today i'm going to talk about the class and uh, i'm going to talk about the class and now i'm i was started with public static void main this is one of the method in the class then uh, that was the compulsory method in the class then everyone in uh, noise will get to know a doubt that what is these of package and what is mean by this class and what are all these methods and all this and for this i need to give a clear cut clarification for everyone that is just by giving a simple uh, presentation slide of mine um that is um for this i'm going to show you a basic uh, i mean uh, a basic outlet of it that is a ja a package is nothing but the collection and that is nothing but a java folder itself but it is having the group of classes interfaces and enumerated that is enums hmm? enumerated classes that is uh, what is mean by the class a class is nothing but uh, it is also a java folder which is having the data java data and the logic which is present in the class this is nothing but a class and a package is the collection of classes interfaces and enumerated classes but what is a class is nothing but a class is a java it is also a java project i mean java folder which is having the java data i mean program data and the program logic within it okay then coming to the interface what is mean by interface is nothing but interface is unimplemented class interface is not an implemented class it is having it is an unimplemented class which we does not uh, even introduce that is um, a new user defined methods or the new variables in it we can only use the variables which are in that interface and we can only use the methods which are present in that interface it is an unimplemented class we can only make use of it but we doesn't have the permissions to define our own methods or do, uh, or define our own class i mean variables but in the class we are it is an user defined and a user friendly for uh, in the java program that is you can create whatever the methods you want and you can you can create what are all the variables you want and you can make use of the interfaces by calling them all these things all the all the uh, what are those are accepted to this class but interface doesn't accept it is an unimplemented class we can't make change of it 
and enums enumerated classes are not from the basic version of our java but these are all just introduced in the java fifth version these are all for the um, set of named constants like uh, when you want to prepare a project for a restaurant for a bar menu uh, that is that a set of named constants we are going to use this enumerated classes i hope i was a bit clear for you or make you a bit clear about all these things and then uh, coming to this explanation somewhat clear i already said to you a package is a java folder having the group of classes interfaces and enums in it and what is a class interface and enums are nothing but all these are used to group the java data and their logic okay and in this i'm going to say to about i hope uh, you have seen that a class is having the variables and a class is having the methods and an interface is also having the variables and an interface is also having the methods but interfaces class uh, methods and the variables are unimplemented by us that is the, we, they we have to use them but we should not implement them with additional features and in the class we can do that it is vice versa but uh, in the methods of the class uh, we can also define some more variables then coming to one thing that what is a variable a variable is a named memory location that is used to store the java data that is nothing but for example if you are defining a number to a variable that is i am defining a number 6 to the variable a which is nothing but an integer type then it will store in the memory location with the two bytes of memory by using the name of a that is nothing but a variable which is used for memory locations to store the java data in that a we are storing the integer value that is number 6 in it and what is meant by a method it is a sub block of class used to implement logic of an object operations whatever the logic that we are going to write in our java program we should not write directly into the main method or anything we have to create a method for that and we have to define the logic in the method and we need to call that method by using the objects which are defined in our main method this was the procedure that we need to follow in the java programming language that is i'm going to make you somewhat bit clear again that is we need to create the logic for the program but we should not create it directly because we need to create it in the method and we need to call the method through the object which is present in the main class main method and from that object the logic is going to be executed i hope you are all very clear about this and then i talked to you about i i'm telling you about what is a user defined method what is a user defined variable all these are similar that is a user defined method is nothing but a developer designed method i mean a developer defined method or a developer implemented method that is if i want one of the method to be created for my uh, program i'll create it without any uh, thought uh, uh, thinking of it because these are all nothing but uh, the user defined methods which the developer creates for his program to be uh, run smoothly but uh, what is mean by the predefined methods predefined methods or the methods which are implemented by the sun developers i mean sun microsystem developers who who develop the who develop this java language so they only develop this uh, uh, some of the methods those are all the predefined methods we have to make use of those methods if you want to make work on with them so one of the example for that method is println we are using the print method to uh, display our uh, text in the output so that is the user is that is not the user defined method that is a predefined method which are developed by the sun microsystems and this is all about uh, some of the basic part that we need to know whenever we want to run a program so i wrote this program uh, like um, 
from this in this program you just came to know that uh, what is class and what is method okay guys and we will see the later what are objects and all this and uh, I'm going to run this program if you want to run this program here is the icon to run the program I'm going to run it yes okay see learning by doing here is my output in the console this was a simple Java program it was just very fundamental Java program but from seeing this Java program we can learn in depth we can dig and uh, learn many things of it and uh, let me make you clear I already said to you that if you can copy this and you can paste this in the okay this was the same program I hope uh, okay you can paste it here and I saved this class as first dot java okay right i hope you are all well very well understood this that is i i wrote uh, i saved this class as first dot java and you can run this using the command prompt i'm opening my command prompt in this it was st stored in the desktop i mean saved in the desktop so i'm writing the path to be desktop and for compiling the java program we need to write java c and the name of the class that is first dot sorry first that's enough then we're going to see what's going to be happen okay what is the name of the class i i mean not name of the uh what do you say uh program that i have given is nothing but um i'm going to Sorry, I need to give first dot Java, not for this. Okay. Uh, then here it doesn't display any uh, because it doesn't display any output. Uh, sorry, any error uh, because it was compiled successfully. If you want to see the output of this, you can click, uh, you can write Java. And here we need to write the class name. We should not write the program name. What is our class name is first where F is started with a capital letter. And I'm going to see the output here that is learning by doing then you can write the Java uh, program in the desk uh, in your notepad and you can run through the command prompt also or you can use the uh, very new uh, uh, IDE that is uh, integrated development and environment uh, that is Eclipse which are going to be used in any software industry so uh, this is what about uh, today's uh, tutorial. I hope you are all understood a basic uh, program of Java and you will learn more about Java programs in our later videos. Thanks for watching my video. If you like my video, subscribe to my channel.